Hi Floss Tube. Welcome back. Today is October 28th. It's a Monday. It's 1030 in the morning. I have about an hour and a half before my son goes to school. Um, I'm here in my craft room again. Um, I got my Starbucks San Diego mug. I got my shirt that says need more caffeine because I always do. Um, <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. Sorry, there's charts there. <laughs> um, so today, as of today, I have an album in my Facebook page. It will be in the description box below, uh, a link to the album. The album is my giveaways. I'm going to put a, lo a lot of charts, a bunch of charts I needed new homes. So um, every Monday, I will put um, about five or so charts on there. I'll leave them up there for one week, go through them, put me please on any picture or any chart that you want. Um, just comment me please under that picture. Um, if there's more than one person interested, I'll do a drawing. If um, you're the only person interested in the chart, I'll just send you the chart. Um, I want to try to keep it at one chart per person for every two weeks. Um, rules are subject to change depending how many people I have interested. I will mail these for free anywhere in the world. Um, you, we can connect through Facebook. Uh, I can get all your mailing information and I'll mail this out to you. Um, yes, did I forget anything? Wait, here's just a few samples of some of the charts. Um, so when I started doing cross stitch again, uh, five, six, six years ago. Yes, <laughs> I'm trying to think back. Um, no, it might have been seven years ago. Because it was before I was pregnant with my son and my son will be turning six in December. So most likely seven years ago, I had a bunch of uh, magazines um, from the estate sale that I purchased. I, well, there was two estate sales that I purchased a lot of my cross stitch from. Um, so a lot of the... Uh, charts from the magazines at the time I cut them out and I put them in these sheet protectors sheet protectors not included um, but I put them in these sheet protectors and I put them in binders to help organize them all in the last three years I've been buying most of my charts on PDFs and I have them saved on my computer my computer is over here off screen um, so I have everything saved on there but I have so many PDFs that I need to stitch them <laughs> and I don't have time to stitch these um, yeah, there's a lot of these. I carefully tore them out of magazines. I bought one of those little, I don't know what they're called, guillotine cutters or something, where you put all the papers in and you slice them down. So I carefully cut the edge off. And So these are good charts, really nice charts. Most of them are from late 80s to the early 2000s. Um, I wanted to do them, but I have so many charts now that I'm not going to live long enough to stitch them all. So these charts need a good loving home. So I'm giving them out for free. So please consider some of these for adoption. Um, this is just a few samples of what I'll be posting. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll post them every Monday. I'll put a few uh, charts on the album. So if you want to save the album or bookmark it, so you can come back and check every few uh, weeks. And then the following Monday, I'll do the drawing to see who wins. Uh, any holiday stuff, I'll try to, to, to put them out now for like Christmas and stuff. So um, hopefully I can mail them out to you and you'll receive them before Christmas and start working on them. This one, the, the chart's down here though, so I'm folding it. Um, yeah. So these charts, well, I have so much more. Um, I, I wanted to do them, but <laughs> I just, I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I, 
I try to stitch all day, but really I don't have time to stitch uh, as much. Um, because right now, if you can hear my laundry, I'm doing laundry right now. I need to do the dishes. Um, I need to take my son to school in an hour. I have my whip out in my, my stitchy spot. Um, and then I'm making teacher's gifts. Which, actually that's this video is about my stitchy gifts. So, you already seen these um, on the videos last week that I've done. I think they're in this order. Yeah. So, they're going to go like this. Um, I think last time in the video, I was somewhere around here. I finished the whole thing now. So, these are going to go like this. And then they're going to curve. Um, once I'm done with these, you'll see what I mean with the curve. Um, okay. So here I'm almost done with this. I just got a few more rows. And then I'm starting on this one. So this is going to be part of the green book. Well, it's going to be on the side. So it's going to be like that. So this is one side. And then the books are going to be this side. And this will be the same on the other side. So the book will be here. And that's the side. Um... So I'm getting these ready now and make sure I have them in the bag so I can start stitching on them. Um, and this too. This piece, I, I, I think this is the first tissue box I've ever done. But I've never seen this before. This will go at the bottom. So the, if this was a box, okay. so if this was a box and it had the four sides and the top, this will go on the bottom right here. Or it would go where the books go. Um, the books will be curved. This one's going to have a little curve too. It's going to go like like that. To help keep the books. They're going to be kind of rounded out. Like this. Well, a smaller version of this. And this will kind of go here to help keep that curve. And then the same with the top of the box. Um, it too is going to have the curve. To keep these curved. But this is going to be up right here at the bottom. So, um, i never done, i never even seen something like this before on the bottom, but that's what's going to happen. <laughs> um, okay, yes. I think that's it for now. Um, in a minute I will show you my patriotic welcome out in my stitchy spot. So, hold on one second. Hi, welcome back. Today is October 28th, 29th, 29th, Tuesday. Um, <laughs> I was like, I have like this new little light thing right here. See that? So how bright that is? I'm looking at that and then I had to look away to my computer to see, double check the date. And you know, when you're looking at a light and you turn away, you still see the light. <laughs> uh, I need to plan these out better. <clears throat> Sorry. So today... I decided that this video is going to be two weeks long. It's going to, I'm going to record it over um, a two week period and then I'll upload it. Um, I know I was trying to do a video a week. Um, eventually. <laughs> right now, no. Um, just because I'm working on the same teacher's gifts. Um, this is still the first box. Um, I need to hurry up and finish these. Uh, it's taken me about a week so far to do these and I haven't really been spending much more time than just in the carpool lane. Um, so I'm going to have to start working on these at home. So, uh, yeah. Uh, my, my whip out my stitchy spot is going to have to wait. It's going to... It is what it is. But anyways, um... So these are the last two pieces I need to start. I haven't started yet. The other ones, I have a few stitches in each of them. So I just need to finish them um so this one's gonna be the top of the tissue box so there's gonna be a hole somewhere here i want to stitch it first and then cut out the hole i want to make sure um the stitching's right because the last thing you want to do is cut out a hole and then it'd be off by one stitch um so yeah stitch first hole second and then this is gonna be the bottom of the tissue box um somehow this is gonna be cut out I'm not really sure how. That's also why I'm going to wait to cut this. To make sure I have everything stitched right. And this is going to um, be the same thing too with the little curves. 
to help hold the books in their little curd forms. So that's that. Um, this is going in the bag so I can stitch it later. I did finish this panel. This is one side of the book. Um, so the green binding is going to be here and then the blue and then the red. So this is one part. And this part is going to be the opposite side of the green. So they're going to be like this in the box. And this is how far I got on this one. I finished all the yellow stitching. I just need to go back and do all the red. This whole thing is going to be red. So I just need to keep going back and forth stitching that. Um, so this one. So this book, this is going to be here. This is going to be here, and this is the back part. So this is going to be like the pages. But if you've seen books, how if they're turned around, you see part of the um, hard, uh, hard cover of the book, or the outside of the book. And then you see the pages here. And then the other book, pages, other book, pages. Um, I only got one row in it so far. So I'll probably have the rest done. Yeah. No, I was just thinking about the pages go up and down. I'm going to have to stitch all the white up and down. Probably end up doing that. So I'll stitch all the white. And then do the other color. The, the green. And then the blue. And then all the white. Then the blue and the red. All the white. And then the red at the end. Um, so that's where I am with that. Um, so I got two... I'm not going to count the bottom as one. Um, so there's five sides. So it's four sides and the top. So I have two done and three more to go. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll probably be stitching on this uh, right now. Um, I have an hour before I have to take my son to school. Um, I don't have any plans of going doing any errands or anything today. Um, and it's overcast. I think I might watch Harry Potter. Um, cause why not? Or Fantastic Beasts. Um, yeah, I'll just put my feet up. Um, I need to relax. I, I went walking at the gym, at the, well, my gym, they started a, a morning Tuesday walk. Um, so I just came home from there. Um, I, as soon as I get home, I take a shower, so my hair's still, like, really wet from that. But the, it was a really nice walk today. It was 60 degrees. It was a little warmer this week than it was last, uh, last week. Um. But it felt good. And then I went in the sauna for a while. Um, I lost three pounds <laughs> since this morning. Um, I wore my, I was wearing sweats. I had a big sweater. I had sweats and I went in the sauna before I went on the walk. And I was sweating a lot already. Went on the walk. Went back into the sauna. It felt good. Um, Did I mention yesterday, I, 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 my husband wants me to make gifts for teachers. Um, he's a recruiter, so he works at so a few high schools. So he wants to give gifts to some of the teachers that he um, made contact with at those schools. So I have to make other gifts. Well, I plan on giving other gifts than just this to the teacher. Um, I make... I don't have any ready yet, but they're over there with the needles already in them. I need to finish them. They're going to be, uh, um, um, what's it called? Cup cozies. Mugs. Cup cozies. So they kind of go around the mug to hold it so you're not burning your fingers. Um, <laughs> so I have a few of those. Um, I need to finish stitching. The teachers will get one of those. And I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just going to go put my feet up and stitch. Um, I will be back with you in one second so I can show you, oh, I don't think I showed what I, um, I've done on my stitchy spot yet. In one second, I'm going to show you what I've done over there, and then after that, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, it's Wednesday, October 30th. Um, I have just a small update. I got just a few more rows on this. That's it. That's all the update I have. Um, it's rainy. It's cloudy. Um, I didn't go to the gym today, so I think I'm just going to stay home and uh, stitch this and um, 
redoing my video. Uh, I'll get it done eventually. Um, I'll also upload last week's video today. Uh, yeah, I'm really late on that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. My throat's hurting. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Um, I think it's the weather. The weather's changing. It's like really messing me up. <sighs> so, um, tomorrow's Halloween. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to dress up or not because it's supposed to be like super cold and rainy tomorrow. Um, I might not even take the kids trick or treating. Uh, there's some, uh, places that are doing like indoor uh, chunk or treat type events and I might just take them there because of the weather um, but we'll see um, I'll try to put a video of my kids maybe in their Halloween costumes um, and that's about it for today I'll see you guys tomorrow bye hi everyone today is uh, Halloween it's October uh, 31st it is a Thursday and I'm here again showing um, my whips where I'm at right now for uh, the teacher projects so I did stitch in this one yesterday um, yeah so this can you see that good I'm gonna have to cut this out because this is a little too long so I'm gonna trim it down and this is gonna be curved like that and this is gonna go on the bottom of the uh, tissue box and I'm gonna cut it out so it's curved and the curves are gonna help hold um, hold the um, the box the the curves of the bookends that corner it's gonna help them keep that curve um, I never done anything like this before and I'm looking now now that I'm actually looking at this I see some possible um, complications that I didn't think of um, yeah I, I maybe should have stitched just a little bit differently but oh well I learned this one and then the next three that I do I'll learn from this mistakes um, so this one is done and I'm putting it away and I have another finish this part of the book for the red, the it's going to go on the side, the tissue box. This is done. Finished it yesterday. Now this is uh, what I'm working on. This is going to go on the back side of the tissue box. So this goes here. This, that's outside. So this will go like this. And then... This one's gonna go on this side. So the book ends is right here in this opening, and then this side it'll be the pages and the um, stuff. So I'm doing the this off white color, and it's gonna go up and down as pages, and then I'll put the other two um, ends of the books here, the two colors. So yes. Um, today's Halloween. I have a lot of stuff to go through today. Um, so in a little bit, I actually have to leave my house. Um, my kids are having a picnic at school, so I'm going to go grab them some McDonald's. And um, we're going to have a picnic. Since it's really cold, this morning when I woke up, it was like 30-something degrees. Um, yeah, so like two weeks ago, it was like in the 80s. So now it's 30-something. And yeah, it's, it's freezing cold. So normally we do the picnic outside, but because it's so cold today, we're going to do the picnic inside. Um, but the mad dash to go get lunch, go to the school, find parking, get inside, have to check in at the um, the office, which is can be a little bit maddening and overwhelming. Um, but only half of the kids are doing lunches today. The other half will do it tomorrow, which that was a really good idea because last year they just had everyone at once. Um, so at least I won't be too crazy. Um, should be very interesting um and then the kids have a book fair at the school and there's something else oh yeah halloween <laughs> um the husband and i may have gone into the the halloween candy the past few weeks so i have to go to walmart and get some more candy um and get some more stuff um 
like last minute uh, goodies. Um, what else was I gonna get? Well, anyways, um, so I I will try to stitch while I'm in the car today at the pickup line, but I have so many errands that I'm not sure if I'll be there for an hour stitching or if it'll just be like 10 minutes. Um, uh, what else? My sister flies in tomorrow. Um, normally I don't stitch when she's here and then I have the Marine Corps ball. So I'm not sure. If I don't stitch, I'm not going to do a video. Or if I barely stitch, I'm not going to do a video. Um, so this video will be filmed over two weeks and then I'll upload it. Um, which is today's Thursday. I still haven't uploaded last week's video. I need to do that. And yes, I think that's it for now. Um, busy weekend. Busy, busy, busy. Um, but hopefully tomorrow, not tomorrow, but next week, Monday. Monday, hopefully everything will just start slowing down. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, I hope everyone, if I don't see you over the weekend, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, and I will see you in one second. Bye. Everyone, welcome back. Today is November 1st. It is a Friday. It's the day after Halloween. Um, <laughs> I saw my hair done <laughs> from last night trick-or-treating. Uh, my lips, they're lip scents. It's a lip stain. It's not lipstick, so it's not, like, you can't just rub it off. It, it stays on, um, which is perfect when you're out trick-or-treating. You don't want to take your purse with you, and you don't want to reapply your lipstick every five minutes. Um, yeah. So today I'm wearing my oversized pajamas. Um, <laughs> I can't back up enough to show you. But it says Hogwarts is my home. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yesterday I dressed up as a Ravenclaw um, Hogwarts student. I had my skirt, I had my shirt, I had my tie, and I had my school robes. So yes. Um, I even had my wand with me. I already put it away. Um, I have my wand with me. So, um, in my robes, I bought the robes at Universal Studios in Hollywood. Um, so there's a little pocket for the wand. So, which is very convenient. I can just pull it out like they do in the movies. Um, so yes. <sighs> How was your day? How was your night? How was your trick or treating? It was cold here in Texas. Oh my goodness. This morning when I woke up, it was uh, 37 degrees. When I took the kids to school, it was 30, 37 degrees. 37. There was a, a thin layer of snow, on, or not snow, but ice on my car. Um, so it took a while for me to heat up my car and get that off. And it was cold. <laughs> so last night when we were trick or treating, it was really cold. And for some reason, my boys did not want to wear a jacket. My husband's like that. He He's fine without a jacket in freezing weather, and my boys are okay too. And I kept checking on them, checking their faces and their nose, and they're fine. Um, one of my neighbors and friends, uh, she lives like two streets over from me, and uh, she lives in a cul-de-sac, and they had a, um, a bounce house at her house. So we took the kids there first, since that started at 5.30, and it was still light out. Um, so the kids were jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping, and then after an hour of jumping, we went trick-or-treating uh, for like another hour or so. Um, we live in a brand new neighborhood. Um, there's a little more than twice the number of houses this year than there was last year. So it was a bigger area to go trick-or-treating. A lot of the people were at that, um, on that block party. So um, there wasn't too many people at home handing out candy. Um, but because the number of kids were so little... My kids got a ton of candy, and I had bought a ton of candy. So um, by the time we got home, our tradition is we order pizza. We go trick-or-treating early. Um, well, we did that because my kids are small. So we go trick-or-treating earlier and then go home and hand out candy the rest of the night. Um, but now that they're a little bit older, uh, they stayed out a little bit later to go trick-or-treating. Um, but as soon as we got home, we ordered pizza. My kids had dinner, and then they went to bed, and they were out for the night. <laughs> that bounce house and the trick chain really put them out. So, <laughs> so no, no resistance in trying to to stay up a little bit longer, which is great because they had school today. Um, let's see, it's nine o'clock. So, two oldest are at school. I got about three hours before um, my youngest goes to school. He's out there watching TV right now. My sister's coming into town. She's flying right now. So she's on the plane. And she'll be here um, 
she lands a little before my son goes to school, but that's a half hour drive. So I have to drop him off first and then I have to go straight to the airport to pick her up. Um, but, so she'll be here uh, when my kids get out of school, which is exciting. So they don't know yet. Um, my, I think my daughter figured it out. Um, but yes. So, oh, so much going on. Um, so my sister's coming in. I have to, I'm not going to stitch today. Um, I have to clean the house um, before my sister gets here. Um, I, I just, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> um, tomorrow is the Marine Corps ball. That's why my sister's here. She's going to, um, babysit for us. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to record until Monday cause I'm just going to be busy, um, with stuff. Um, so my husband, he's going to be emceeing the ball this year. So right now he's at practice for the, the ball tomorrow. Um, so we have to be at the hotel at two. I don't know why he has to be there so early. So that means I have to get ready, like starting in the morning to do my hair or makeup and I don't know. I, I might tell him like, let's just get a hotel room for the night <laughs> so I can just kind of hang out in there while he's practicing and then I'll just get ready at the hotel or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, <sighs> this whole week is like one thing after another after another after another and it's just so busy. So I like to get my nails done. That's the color of my dress. I will post pictures on my Instagram uh, tomorrow and on my Facebook and um, I don't know. If, if they let me take a video of the ball tomorrow I might stick that into this week's video so just stay tuned see what happens <laughs> okay um stitching let's get back to that oh yeah first off this is my cup I have four of these cups I love them they keep my coffee nice and hot or if I'm drinking cold something cold they keep it nice and cold Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so my mom just called. Um, she lives in California. Um, she's a teacher, so she just got into work right now. So it's like, usually she has a few minutes before uh, the school starts. So she calls me for a few minutes. Anyways, um, yeah. She was just calling to see where my sister was. I'm like, she's on the plane to visit me. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what I got done yesterday. Um, yeah, so see, this is going to be the book. There is a gap here. Can you see that? So one row right here is going to be green, and the next one's going to be blue. So you know when you stack the books together, you see the, the um, what is it? What is it called? The backing? Or is that what it's called? It's not the jacket. The jacket's a little thing that comes off the book. But whatever. That's that's what that is. And then here are the pages. And then the other ones. Here are the pages. And then here will be a blue and a red line. And then more pages. So, um. That's as far as I got with this. Um. Did I show this? This is going to be the top. So it's going to be the sim similar. Very similar to what this is. With that and then the pages but the difference is where's the other one how these are kind of curved that same curve is going to go here so on the top of the tissue box bottom tissue box these are both going to hold the the ends the binding part of the um the book to help keep the the curve form um, and then somewhere right here in the middle is gonna be the hole for the tissues to come out of um, okay, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this because I still need to connect all the pieces together to make a box that's the different part of this and the cross stitch. Once you're done with cross stitch, that's it. You just lay out the fabric flat. But this is like a 3D project. <laughs> so this is a little more challenging, especially when you make the first one, you're not sure how to do it or 
yes um i never made a tissue box before so uh wish me luck <laughs> um I will try to work on this if I can, but I don't think I want to have time to work on it. I'm not planning on working on it this weekend. And it's taking me a little over a week, two weeks to do the, as much as I've done. Um, um, I haven't really been that dedicated to it. I need to, to bump that up some more and get more done um, within the next few weeks. Um, because it's crunch time. <laughs> I still gotta make three more boxes. Um, but I'm learning from all my mistakes I'm making with these. So hopefully it'll be faster to make the rest. Which are right here at the floor next to me. You can't see it. Um, yes. I think that's it for today. Um, I'll be editing. I think I want to do all my editing tomorrow while I'm waiting for my husband to, to do whatever he has to do. Um, so, yes. Anything else? Did I forget anything else? I think I got it all. I got so much stuff to do. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you in... Well, wait, hold on. If I can take a uh, video of the ball tomorrow, I'll edit that in. If not, then I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to... Today is November 3rd. It is a Sunday. I am filming on a Sunday. Yeah. So yesterday I went to the Marine Corps Ball. I didn't take any pictures. Um, <laughs> there was a little bit of last minute uh, dress change. Um, I ended up just wearing the same dress I wore last year just with a little cardigan. Um, the dress that I bought this year to wear to the ball this year didn't work out. So last minute I just changed. And, it was fine because most of the people who went to the ball last year aren't there anymore. So there's new people. So it was working out good. Um, so we just didn't take pictures because we already have the pictures from last year. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to save the dress I had this year. Maybe use it for next year. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so. I'm going to enter in a video right here. Um, it's going to be just a small clip of a video. I only record maybe three minutes or so, three and a half minutes of the ball, but I'm going to put a little clip right here. Okay, and... ...on the service of the Corps being published by every command to all Marines throughout the globe on the birthday of the Corps. Since that day, Marines have continued to distinguish themselves on many battlefields and foreign shores in war and peace. On this birthday of the Corps, therefore, in compliance with the will of the 13th Commandant, Article 38, United States Marine Corps Manual, edition of 19.1, is republished as follows. On November 10, 1775, a Corps of Marines was created by resolution of Continental Congress. Since that date, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we who are Marines should come commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glory of its long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one of which will bear comparison with that of the most famous military organization in the world's history. During 90 of the first 146 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to Argonne, Marines have won foremost honors in war, and in the long eras of tranquility at home, generation after generation of Marines have grown gray in war in both hemispheres. And in every corner of the seven seas, that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our war, Marines have quitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion until the term Marine has come to signify all that is highest in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. This high name of distinction and soldierly repute, we who are Marines today have received from those who have preceded us in the Corps. With it, we have also received from them the eternal spirit which has animated our Corps from generation to generation and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marine in every age. 
So long as the spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be a bomb equal to every emergency in the future as they have been in the past. And the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers at sea since the founding of our corps. The inspiring message of our 13th Commandant has left its mark in the hearts and minds of all Marines. I haven't done any editing yet, so I don't know how much I put in. Um, but um, part of it is my husband. He is the one on the stage behind the podium talking. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of the guy reading the scroll. Um, if you look on YouTube, you can probably find uh, the Marine Corps birthday or the ball or something like that. And you can see the whole ceremony. The whole thing is about 30, 40 minutes long. Um, pretty much it's just a tradition. Every ball, no matter where in the world it is, any uh, Marine Corps ball, um, does the same exact tradition every single year. Um, the Marine Corps is based on a lot of traditions. So, um, it's the same thing. Um, the stuff my husband was reading is the exact same thing every year. Uh, this year he was emceeing it. Um, but the, everything else, um, the order they do it, they have, um, the guys come forward with the sword. The, the guys come forward with the flags. We do the um, national anthem. And then the cake comes forward. Um, and then someone reads the scroll, which is from the uh, 13th Commander, or Commandant in the Marine Corps. Um, the com Commandant in the Marine Corps is the person who oversees the whole entire Marine Corps. Um, so, it was probably from 200 years ago. Um, yeah, um... The Marine Corps, the ball is always on the Marine Corps birthday, near the Marine Corps birthday, which is November 10th. Uh, so that's why we have the balls to, to celebrate the Marine Corps birthday. So that's why there's a birthday cake for the Marines. So this year the Marines were 244 years old. So it started 244 years ago. Um, so yeah. Um, part of the ceremony that I did not record was uh, the cake cutting. Um, but that's a really nice tradition that they have. The very first piece goes to the oldest Marine in the room. So even if they're retired or whatever, they're there, they're, they accept the first cake and do a ceremonial uh, eating of the cake. So they just take a small piece and eat it. The second piece is given to the oldest Marine and he turns around and hands it to the youngest Marine. Which, um, this kid, he just got out of boot camp, um, I think last week. And I think he just flew in today just to be there in the service to, to accept a cake. So he got the smallest piece of cake and then he ate a small piece of it. Um, and that's always tradition. So it's kind of symbolizing the oldest Marines, the older Marines, passing on the knowledge and everything, traditions to the younger Marines. And that's something the Marine Corps does, like every uh, um, boot camp or anything, like the trainings is one Marine teaching another Marine. Um, my dad was a Marine. He served in Vietnam. Um, so <laughs> I grew up knowing about Marines. Uh, my husband and I, we dated for five years before he joined the Marines. So I knew a lot about the Marine stuff before he even joined. Um, so he joined five years after we started dating. And then we got married two years later. So, um, yeah, we've been together for 16 and a half years, married for almost 10. Next month it'll be 10 years. Um, and he's been in the Marines for 11 years now. So nine more years of this and then he will retire. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to speed this up so because I know you're here for my cross stitch, not for the um, the Marine Corps history. Uh, there is a lot more stuff all, um, out there on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you can find plenty of videos of the whole ceremony and um, all the traditions, plus like the whole history of the Marines. Um, which um, there was a speaker, guest speaker there last night who he himself studied the history of the Marines and he was retired and everything. So um, he was a, the oldest Marine that received that first piece of cake. Um, so yeah, I wish I would recorded him, but I didn't. Whatever. Um, I think that's all the footage I took and I only took one selfie of myself and I, I should probably post that on Instagram. I didn't. I just posted on Facebook. Um, if we're Facebook friends, you probably saw it. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's almost noon and I'm already drinking. <laughs> I didn't drink at the ball, but I have my wine right here. Um, so yes. Um, let's get back to my stitching. Um, I did manage to put a few stitches in yesterday. And I'm doing some more today. Um, just because I have to get these done for um, spring break. I'm trying to look at the calendar. There's four. Five, six, seven, seven more weeks until the kids go on winter break. So I have seven weeks to finish this. I'm almost done. This is the last panel right here. Once it's completed, I can put the whole structure together. Um, and the first tissue box will be done. Um, so it's just taking me a little over two weeks to do this. Um, I've had a few bumps along the way. I had a frog, some of it. Um, but um it's getting there i'm learning my mistakes i'm applying them to the next uh um, box i'm gonna do so yes so this is gonna be the back side of the tissue box um i haven't done well I, i'm two rows away from here um and i still need to do there'll be a one line of red one line of blue one line of blue one line of green here um, and there's two more of the pages I need to do, the off-white. I already did the bottom. So that's already done. Um, here's my plan, <laughs> if I can. Um, I'm going to stitch the bottom here with the red and the blue. And then stitch it going all the way up. I'm going to leave a long piece so that I can attach this to the top and have that same piece of yarn continue right here well actually it'll just go up to here because right here is where the circle is and all this will be one piece of thread um, just because it's not that many stitches it's just one line here one line here back stitching and making sure it's attached right here um so here you can see I already kind of curved off the ends I want to finish stitching first before I curve off the other ends here um, I think this piece, I'm going to leave it longer, so I'm right here, so I can stitch these two pieces together like this. Um, and then this one's going to be a long piece of red. I need to stitch here, here, here. I might do a stitch with me showing how I'm going to do it, just not the whole thing putting it together, but part of it. Um. It must be for myself so I can remember how I did this one so I know how to do the next one. Uh, <laughs> but I'll put that in the um, the title of the video so you can see it stitch with me. It's stitching this together. Um, so yeah, I'm just about done with this. Yay! First one almost done. Um, I'm also making other gifts too for the teachers. Um, it's called a snowman soup. <laughs> I saw it on Pinterest and it looked really cute. It's just going to be a mason jar. It's going to have a hot chocolate uh, mix with a layer of marshmallows and a layer of M&M's, mint M&M's. Um, I already purchased everything I need for it. I just need to throw it together. It's not going to take me too long to do it. It's very simple, basic. Um, I do need to um, print out cards. I'm going to put out a uh, card saying what it is. It's going to be... Um, oh. Snowman soup. I don't know, my mind went blank right now. <laughs> the snowman soup. Um, I do have a paper, um, what is it? I don't know what they're called, the punch outs. And it's a punch out, but it looks like a mason jar. So I'm going to 
try to edit everything to fit in that punch card thing and then I'm gonna have um yeah I have a hole puncher right there I'm gonna punch a hole in it and I'm gonna um, tie it on to the jars um, I already have ribbons right over there in the corner um, I have red I have green I don't know if I'm gonna use that or I have like um, a twine type uh, string um, so it's gonna be one or the other I do have these cute little wooden um, bamboo spoons that I might attach to them um, I used to make bath fizz and sugar scrubs um, and give them away as gifts for Christmas in the past so I still have those spoons that I attached to it um, so you can like scoop up stuff and just yeah um, so I have more of those spoons left um, I, I purchased them from someone in China um, but it'll be a cute little addition to the teachers gifts I can show those once I done. I'm going to wait until it's closer to Christmas before doing all that. It shouldn't take me too long to do it. I have a, a, a funnel that's specially made for um, mason jars. So you just dump everything in there and then close it up. Um, it's going to be a real quick, easy thing to do. So along with these, I'm making those. Um, yeah. That's about it. So this is taking a lot longer, so that's why I'm going to try to focus more on these. Um, and then I'll get to those. Um, I can start doing those mid-December. Um, I'm trying to look at the calendar. The 20th, I believe. It's like very tiny over there. So the 20th um, of December will be the kids' last day of school, so that's when the teachers will receive this. So hopefully none of the teachers are watching this right now. None of them know. Um, that I have a YouTube channel. Only, well, my daughter's been telling everyone at school that I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> so if any of my daughter's friends are watching, hi, this is Rebecca's mom. Uh, <laughs> um, so anyways, that is a game plan. And yes, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll show you how far I got. And, um, <sighs> I think now that everything is done, all last week was a bit chaotic and crazy, now I can like kind of relax and just kind of focus on this and not focus about anything else. Um, so I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to get really relaxed here. Um, my sister's still here, I think she's taking a shower right now. Uh, my husband's on his way home from work, he had to work on a Sunday, uh, typical. Um, but we're gonna go to the mall, um, show her around, um, you know, just kind of take her out to thank her for babysitting last night, and yeah, and then drop her off at the airport later on today, and that's about it. That's all we're doing today. Um, no plans for the next few weeks, so hopefully I'll just have plenty of time just to sit back, relax, and just stitch, and not be so much in rush and chaotic and crazy. <laughs> I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in one second. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is November 4th. I don't know why I don't just look at that before I start filming. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so today is a Monday. Um, yeah, nothing special. Um, I am feeling a little tired and sluggish. Yesterday I was fine with the time change because we didn't really do much. We just kind of uh, hung out and, and went to the mall um, and then took my sister to the airport. Uh, the whole time change didn't really hit me until this morning when I had to take my kids to school. Um, yeah. Well, the good thing is like my kids all woke up early. They, they got dressed and everything in time. I didn't have to tell them anything. They already knew the routine. They're... Yeah, it worked out good for them, but for me, I don't know why, it's just like messing with my head. Um, so I still went to the gym, came home, took a shower, and there's what. Um, and I'm here doing my video. No rush. I think I'm liking this rather than doing it in my car. Um, so anyways, um, so today at the gym, I was watching uh, Floss Tube. I was watching The Stitching Mommy, and she mentioned a group called Enchanted Stitchers, which, you know, when I hear someone mention a new group on Facebook, like, I have to go check it out. So I joined the group. Um, 
I just took a quick look after uh, um, I filled out the questionnaires and I was accepted in the group. I went and looked at some of the stuff. Um, it, it looks pretty interesting. It's Disney. I like Disney. Um, big Disney fan. Um, and I can't wait to start. Um, I need to read everything to see like what are all the rules and stuff and how it goes. Uh, I, it kind of looks similar to Ma School of Magical Stitches, which um, that's going to end the end of next month. Um, if you don't know what that was, it's you read the Harry Potter books, you watch the movies, and you stitch, and you have homework assignments that go along with what's going on in the books and, and the movies and stuff. Um, I love that group. I love the idea. It's just they're so specific on the... Um, um, the homework assignments that I haven't really had much chance to stitch what I want to stitch and I just instead stitched on stuff to get the points. So I have a bunch of starts right here in that box, that one, that one, that one. The stuff I started because School of Magical Stitches but I haven't really stitched it on it much because I couldn't fit it in any other projects and or any other assignments and I had to switch up projects for the assignments and anyways I'm a bit overwhelmed with all my starts so I'm taking a little hiatus on that uh, group and I think I'm gonna leave um, at the end of the year um, because the next year they're gonna start on a new book series um, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan I already have all the books and the audiobooks and the movies um, but the next series of books um, I never run them before I'm not gonna keep up I'm not gonna be able to keep up with all the um, stuff that they have. Um, I know some people are amazing at it and they can do all these different whips and they put all the stitches that they have to put in there. I'm not that talented. <laughs> I'm not that organized. I can't do that. Um, it's been fun but um, I'm not going to keep up with it. So I'm going to check out the Enchanted group and um, see how that goes. So every month it looks like they pick out a, a, a movie, a Disney movie and they do similar like assignments according to those movies. So I'm going to see if that's a little bit easier going for me. Um, what I'm really looking for is a group that just encourages me to stitch, not so specific on a certain color or um, like an object or something, but rather than, you know, here's a thousand stitches, go do it on any project. Um, I know diagonal stitches. And full, um, full coverage fanatics do have some of those things, but um, not all my projects are uh, full coverage. And I am just learning how to do diagonal stitches. And for diagonal stitches, I most likely use that for my Heaven and Earth designs. Um, but I'm looking for a group that's not specific to any project. It's not specific to full coverage or any kind of designer. Or a color like I just want like a very vague challenge <laughs> like this week do 500 stitches or this month to 10,000 stitches and just kind of motivate me just to finish my whips that I have and not constrict me to certain projects um, that's what I'm looking for if anyone knows a group that's like that let me know if not I can start my own um, if anyone wants to join just let me know um, and we can do something um, yes, anyways, and I would include plastic canvas in that too, because these, I do consider this half stitch. This is kind of similar to cross stitch. Um, and also like with those other groups, I'm not sure if I can fit <laughs> projects like this, like projects I have to do for gifts. I, I want something that just motivates me to, to keep going, not just to, to stitch on a certain thing. Anyways, <laughs> let me get back to this. So here I am. This is a, the last piece I need done for my um, tissue box. Um, I You can see the hole right here. So this is going to be the hole where the tissue box opens to. Um, I still need to do some more of the pages here and then the edge. My son's upstairs, so I heard him saying something. Okay, anyways, um, I guess he's fine. 
<laughs> so I just need to finish that I and mean, cut out this. Um, you know you stitch a lot when you're dreaming cross stitch and projects. So I was dreaming last night of how I was going to finish doing these and I don't know what I was thinking, but yes, I, I was dreaming about cross stitch and stitching. <laughs> um, so yeah, here I am. I might do a video. I don't know if I'll upload it, but it will be, um, uh, if I do upload it, it'll be stitch with me, uh, showing how I put everything together. It will mostly be an instructional video for myself, uh, since I have to do three more boxes when I'm done with this. <laughs> so I can remember how I put it together and how um, to finish it or, or maybe even how not to finish it um, so this this is my little first trial run um, anyways um, if I finish this project before Friday I will edit the um, the video that I have from last week and this week I'm gonna put them all together and I'll have Upload, I will upload it whenever it's done. If not, then I'll try to upload it this weekend. I know last week I was really late on uploading my video. And I still have my giveaways. I already did put the pictures up a week ago. Um, but because I was so late putting the video up and announcing it, uh, I'm going to leave those pictures up there for another week. Uh, today I'm going to try to add a few more uh, charts on my album. All that information will be in the description box below. Um, go please check it out. Um, all my charts are free. Uh, I will mail them anywhere in the world. They will be folded in half and, and I'll mail them in the envelope. Um, they just need a good loving home. I have way too many charts. Um, I'm going to go through all these boxes here. I have a bunch of starts. Oh, so many of my starts I have here is because of School of Magical Stitches and I need to finish them. And I have so many more charts on my computer that I need to get to, which I'm not sure if I'm going to live long enough to get through all of them. I have so many charts and I keep having this issue where I keep buying more charts. Um, I need to stop. It, it's, it's, it's a sickness, really. <laughs> uh, only if my husband knew. <laughs> So I'm going to start getting, um, I'm going to do this video first right now. Um, I'm not going to upload it in for another week or two, just so I can have a video on hand to upload whenever I'm stitching the teacher's gifts. And I'm like, once I'm done with this first project, I'm not going to show you what I'm doing with the other three. So yes, I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, First off, I know I keep saying that I'm going to show you what I'm doing in my stitchy spot and I never do. Something happens, I get distracted, whatever. Right now, I'm going to go to my stitchy spot. I'm going to go to my stitchy spot and I am going to show you uh, how far I got on that whip. Um, and I'll try to take pictures and post them on Instagram too. Okay, uh, I will see you in one second. Hey, I'm here. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, so this is as far as I got on this. Um, so when you get the sleeplet, when you open it up, it's the full page. I believe it's um, 11 half by 17. So there's one page here, one page here. So this is the first page, and it's just about done. Um, I have a few stitches right here that I need to do in green. Um, I believe that's two or three different green colors here. And you finish this red right here. This daisy's done. I just need to do all the back stitching here. Um, back stitching, back stitching, back stitching. Um, there's a few more green stitches that go here. Um, there's a bunch of white stitches that go right here. And then all back stitching. Then all this needs back stitching. This daisy is already done. I just need back stitch. Um, there's a lot of back stitching detail right here in the tail of the. Uh, um, is that a cardinal? Um, oh, the bird. Like, there's a lot of detail that goes right here in the back stitching. Um, I think I need one more green color right here to fill it in, and then back stitch. And then when I'm done with all that, um, this is a little bit of the next page right here. So I need to do that, and 
well, all the next pages right here. So um, once I'm done with this page here, I'm gonna unroll this um, a little bit so I can start working on this here and go working down. That's where I am with that. This whole top part's done. I got everything from right about this line here up all that, the back stitch and everything's done there. Okay. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi, and welcome back. It's November 5th. It is a Tuesday. And this is my update for today. Um, I was able to finish all these. So I think I want to start... I think I'm going to go back over here and just do the reds, then attach this piece to it. Um, I might finish these two rows first and then leave the piece long. And then I want to use that one piece to attach these two like this. So it's going to be at the top of the box and the side. Or this is actually going to be the back side. Um, I've never done this before, like attaching pieces together. So I want to start with this right here since I already have it out. Um, and I'll see how it goes. Um, if I finish this later on today, it's, it's still only 1040. Okay, it's later than I thought it was. Um, so it's 1040 right now. If I finish this, if I finish this, if I finish this up uh, soon, I'll show you. How far I got. Okay, I'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. It is still Tuesday, uh, November 5th. Um, I did record earlier this morning and now I'm giving you uh, an update on how I'm doing this. Um, so the blue here and the green, each of those colors are one strand going all the way down. From here to here it's one strand so it's attached and I also did the white so this is gonna be um, part of the books the the just the pages part um, that's what I got so far I am so far liking this um, this I feel like it's too off white the pages so I'm happy that I already have the white um, yarn for the next ones that I do but um I think I'm doing this right, the connecting these two pieces. It looks, it looks okay to me. Um, I would prefer it to be a little bit more full coverage. Um, but I didn't want it to be too thick, so that's why I didn't do it twice. Uh, some parts I did uh, do it twice, and other parts I did not. And you can kind of see, it's not too noticeable, so it looks okay. But um, you still see a lot of plastic. Um, when I was doing this I noticed that right here the red I'm gonna have to go back and do one more stitch an extra stitch in there to make it look like continuous like these are continuous um, so I think I want to switch that up next time so this too will also be one yarn going all the way uh, on both pieces and the same with the green um, so here, I don't know if you can see this So I have all the other pieces right here. So I have so I need to stitch these three together. And they're gonna go right here where these are curved. I'm gonna go right here like that. And then this one is gonna go right here. And then the other one on the other side. Um, I'm going to continue working on this right now. Um, it's 4 o'clock. Um, I'll probably stitch for about an hour or so. Um, and then I have to start making dinner. Um, and then once dinner is done, I can continue working on this. Um, so right now my kids are home. They already did their homework, so they're playing and watching TV. Um, yeah, because they got to go to bed in like a few hours. Um, with the time change... <laughs> I'm kind of tricking them to go to bed half hour early because uh, it's getting darker earlier. So um, for them, 
I don't think they fully adjust to the time change, but I'm, I'm liking how I'm giving myself an extra half hour <laughs> each night. Um, yes. So I think this is week three I'm working on this. Um, like I said, I wasn't really too devoted on this. I was stitching on my stitchy spot. But um, I think for the next month, I'll definitely be more dedicated to finishing the other ones. I would like to have each one of those done within... Um, I could, I'm could. i going to try to do one tissue box a week or a week and a half. I try to keep it under two weeks just to make sure they're all done in time. And I am so sweaty. Yeah, Today, for some reason, the temperature shot up to 83 degrees. <sighs> and then it's supposed to go back down again this weekend. Anyways, <laughs> so I'll be stitching this um, while I'm watching some floss tube. Um... And if I finish, if I get a lot of progress done on this, um, I'll do another video, another update tonight. If not, then I'll just show you tomorrow morning where I'm at. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, welcome back uh, again. <laughs> it's 6.30 right now. My kids are eating dinner, so I'm just doing a quick update um, on this. I'm carrying all my bad habits. I have two threads going at the same time. I am constructing the tissue box. Uh, this is as far as I got. See how these are kind of curved? See see how these are curved? See better there? So the bottom here and the top. Um, this is very difficult to try to manipulate the curvature and then to stitch um, because I attach these th three um, panels together and then I stitched it. I think for the future, um, I will stitch this first and then stitch the panels together um, because it's just, it's so hard to manipulate. Um, and then from this side, I can stitch these together. <sighs> it, it's, it's gonna, it's a bit of a pain. I'm, I'm thinking about putting it down for a little bit and um, just start stitching the blank uh, canvas for now. For the other pieces and then come back to this later because it's it's getting very frustrating i'm liking the way the curvature is on there but just to try to manipulate to hold and stitch at the same time on something that's kind of big and floppy and it, it, it's proving to be difficult so next time i'm going to start this stitch first and then stitch around it um, but the tissue box is pretty much complete i just need to finish stitching so here's the book, the end, this part, this part, and the top's already pretty much done. I just need to finish stitching the sides. Um, but all this right here is already stitched. And it's coming out very cute. Uh, I'm very pleased with this. <sighs> uh, I might put this down for a few days just to, to uh, just for my anxiety, just to relax. It's. I think I'm gonna put this down and then just work on the other um, the other pieces for now. Um, so that means I will probably upload this video um, within the next couple days. I'll edit it maybe today or tomorrow, upload it, and then in a future video I'll show you the finished piece. And probably by then I'll have a, the other box with the different colors I changed so you can have a side by side comparison on how they look. Um, I just noticed too right now, this is exposed. So I think I want to go back and stitch this all, just all in white, because I'm not going to be switching up the colors. But I'll uh, consider doing that in the future. Um, just so it's done when I stitch all this, so I don't have to get another piece to, to do that. Um, I'll do that how I like. I did this too. This yarn that I finished this end with was the same yarn from here. So I, I got this piece and I stitched this. And the same with these. I started it, it down here. I rounded out the end. And then I stitched over the thread. You see the how I started it. At, I added a little tail to here and I went over the tail. So, um, so I'll do that next time for this. So I'm learning all my mistake on this one, the first one. And I'm going to apply everything I learned to the next ones. So hopefully it'll be faster and easier for me to stitch those. 
<sighs> but I, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm done for the night. <laughs> I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Happy stitching. Hi everyone. It is November 6th. It's Wednesday. Hey, I have a finish. Here we go. Um, yeah, I got a little frustrated with this last night. I had to put it down. Um, I had a crazy weird dream about it. Um, but it's done. It's frustrating. It's, uh, it's not perfect, but, um, it'll have to do. Um, so yeah, do you see how that's curved? This is how it looks. I, I like it. I think it's really cute. It came out really cute. It's just a little frustrating trying to do these parts and trying to curve it and things were not adding up and lining up right. Um, so I want to talk to my future self <laughs> for a minute. Okay. What you're going to do first is attach this in here and this in here and this in here, preferably the blue one first, the middle one, and then work on the outer ones later. And then you're going to work on this part here, attaching that. And then you're going to go from the inside and attach these here and sew those together. That should make it easier for next time. Um, and then work on the sides and then do this panel at the very, very end. That's going to make everything a little bit more simple. <sighs> One down, three more to go. <laughs> um, so these things, I'm going to have to let them stay like this for a few days to, to get the curvature and get used to it. Um, I don't want to just put my tissue box on it because I know the kids are going to start using it and I don't want to mess this up before I give it as a gift. So I might go to the store just to get a, uh, a few boxes to keep them in here since I'm going to give them like that anyways. Um, but to help keep the form. Um, I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to have to let it sit for a couple days. Just so everything can kind of relax and, and take shape. Um, I'm noticing the corners, especially here, here and on the bottoms. Um, because it was just so hard to manipulate the plastic that the corners are sticking out. I tried my best to go over it a couple times with the yarn to push those corners in and have it all line up. Um, didn't work. <laughs> so now I know. Um, and in case you're wondering, I did start last night when I got frustrated with this, I put it down. I started with this piece for the next tissue box. And I'm using the other yarns I purchased um, at uh, Joann's and Walmart, and I'm loving the coverage on it. It's so much more than this. Like, um, I don't know if you can see it here, but when you look through, when you look at it, when I'm looking at it here, I can see the holes. I can see through the yarn. It's not giving it full coverage. But the other yarn I got, the uh, the Red Heart yarn, it's giving it a lot more fuller coverage. It's a lot thicker, um, so I can't see all that gaps and the holes in between the stitches. Um, but yeah, I need to finish one box. Um, I'll most likely upload this video soon, edit and upload it, and then in a future video, I'll show the two completed uh, pieces side by side with the yarn that came with the kit and then the other yarn that I purchased. So you can see the difference. Um, I'm liking the white yarn better than this right here, but um, I think once everything's completed, it will be a lot more noticeable and different. Um, so yes. So I think I'm done with this week and a half long video and I will upload it soon. And I have two or three other videos I have done editing or need to edit and I'll be uploading that um, every week. I'll try my best to have one video up um, just to make sure I have one video a week up. Um, I did film the stuff here and I finally like this one. Uh, I just need to edit it and if it's good to go then I might upload that next week so you can see all my um, stitchy sash and whips. Um, I think that's it for today. It is 9 o'clock and I'm going to keep on stitching the other teacher gifts. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.